Hey folks, it's Bud in Studio A at SOFA again, and I'm coming to you today to talk to you again about the new DigiB light that came out from Paul Buff. And the new DigiB light has garnered a lot of discussion online, there's no doubt about it. And the real discussion has been about the LED modeling lamp built in. And it occurred to us the real reason folks like it is not just because it's lighter, it's because it doesn't put out much heat. And we realized how often we run into problems here in the studio based around that heat. And here in my hand, I'll get you a close-up video of this, is an example of why. And this is a shipping cover that would come off of an alien bee here, and it's melted. And how that happens really is quite simple. Someone has used the light, it's real warm, it's real hot, and they've put the shipping cover on without allowing it to cool first. And that happens mostly because folks are in a hurry, or they turned the light on, plugged it in, and left the shipping cover on with the modeling lamp running. Now, this is not a problem that we just have with alien bees, we also have it with Einstein's. And in fact, just yesterday, we had someone melt a fabric uh, cover onto an alien bee modeling lamp. Now, the world doesn't end. Honestly, the parts to replace things are fairly inexpensive. If you do melt a shipping cover onto an alien bee, onto the modeling lamp, that's gonna cost you about $28 uh, in parts and shipping. Um, if you do the same thing to the Einstein, it's a little more, about $32 or so with shipping. Uh, that's up to uh, New Hampshire here on the East Coast. But in our rental studio, it happens enough that we have a procedure in how we deal with it. We have our fixed price uh, that we charge our rental customers. Uh, but again, for you, the user at home or uh, in a more modest sized studio, uh, that's an expense that could add up. Never mind that right now it's about 98 degrees outside and uh, it's pretty warm and the last thing I want to do is turn a modeling lamp on if I don't have to. So in the case of the DigiB, hey what do you know it's got an LED light. So I've described it previously when it runs it's about the temperature of a warm cup of coffee uh, which is super awesome actually very low temperature but then it occurred to us how could we measure that and show that to you in a dramatic way the big difference and the answer is it turns out we own a thermal camera. That's right, we own one of the little Seek thermal cameras. It goes on the bottom of an Android phone and we can record video of these running. And we've done that in two cases. First, we've just turned all these lights on. As you see, the DigiB, the Alien B, and the Einstein. We've run them and it works super awesome. And we've run it and let the video run to show you how quickly the temperature on the Einstein and the Alien B, the original model, uh, ramp up. This is a 150 watt lamp. This is a 250 watt lamp. Uh, and this is a 400 watt equivalent according to their specifications, but it runs at a much, much cooler temperature. Yeah. At the one minute mark, you can see the Einstein's up to 104 degrees, and it rises up pretty quickly to 120 degrees at the three minute mark. And then it vacillates back and forth between 268, 270 or so, before it tops out at a whopping 273 degrees. That Seek thermal unit is definitely looking right at that Einstein. Of course, it's the brightest one. If we zoom in on that Alien B, we can see it hovered at the uh, 243 degrees, so pretty hot, hot enough to burn you. But there's that DigiB, nice and cool at 115 degrees. Perfect. The other thing we did, and it's sort of the worst case scenario for temperature, is we put a seven inch reflector, the standard Paul Buff reflector, on each of the lights with a 20 degree grid. And what that grid does is, while it does limit the light output, it helps us in terms of a light shaping tool, it also tends to keep the heat in. And that's when these lights really heat it up. So let's show you those videos and off you go. Here's an Einstein with a seven inch reflector and a 20 degree grid, and it's raised the temperature by at least 30 degrees. Now you can see me removing the grid. I'm showing you that the temperature of that reflector has gone up to 340 degrees. You have to use extreme caution here, folks, when you're handling a light like this, because those temperatures are more than enough to burn you with just a moment's contact. As I hold the grid off to the side, you can see that the grid starts to cool down pretty quickly uh, when it's not subjected to that heat of that modeling lamp. If we use the thermal camera to zoom in on just the Alien B, Again, with a seven inch reflector and a grid, you can see the temperature is still quite high, topping out around 318 degrees or so. Now, let's compare that to the DigiB, which is much cooler, a high temperature of about 124 degrees, and that is a world of difference. So sure, a thermal camera's all neat and stuff, and so is the new DigiB, 
But what's the real take-home message? The take-home message, I think, is that the LED modeling lamp is certainly the way to go. But also, if you are considering a purchase between the Einstein and the DigiB, yes, the Einstein has an awesome feature set for around $500, and the DigiB is fantastic at $350. But as you compare feature to feature and things that are important to you, I would say keep in mind that that LED modeling lamp built inside of here with very low temperatures might be more important to you than you think. Also, I would stress for safety that the high temperatures found in the Einstein uh, can burn you, of course. That's nothing new. It's not a bad product in any way, shape, or form. It just is hot. That's what incandescent bulbs do. LED is definitely the way of the future. I wish there's a way we could retrofit an LED in here, but there isn't. But hey, we'll keep our eyes to the folks at Paul Buff and see what they come up with. After all, we're all about innovation. So this is Bud at the Studio Photographics Arts Sofa here in Manchester, New Hampshire. If we can help you out, uh, leave a comment or of course, definitely subscribe, like, and share. Thanks.